Good day, everyone. Welcome to our first online entrepreneurship initiative training, where we will touch on effective leadership. My name is George Chawawa. I'll be your presenter during this course. In terms of individual introductions from the participant side, um, due to the numbers that have logged in, we will not have uh, time for each participant to introduce themselves. Um, but we will encourage you to just uh, on the chat, include your name and the name of your organization and your location so that the rest of the group can familiarize themselves with you. Okay. Uh, just a bit on how we will approach the training. Uh, it, it will be online. So the classes will be on will be held online via this Google platform, where we will share the links with you on the WhatsApp chat group that was created. There will be case studies that will be required to be done, both as individual and as groups. So during the course of the module, we'll case we'll, we'll share the case study uh, pamphlet for your attention. The class exercises will be done via the Google platform as well, where you will be required to complete uh, either multiple choice or detailed uh, responses during the class exercises. This will contribute to your overall assessment at the end of the course. We also encourage self-study um, via the study manual that we shared with the participants last week. Um, this is more comprehensive in terms of the content um, of the module. Um, and during the class, we'll just use the, st um, the slides, which may be high level. So we do encourage you to prepare for the class uh, through studying the self-study uh, um, manual that we've provided. The, in terms of assessments, there will initially be individual assessments where you will be required to complete the assessment by yourself as an individual, as well as group assessments where we may put you through breakaway groups and require you to complete the assessment as part of a group. Then at the end of the training module, you will then be required to write a final exam, which will then use to assess your progress during the course of this training. Uh, the final exam will also be used um, to assess who goes um, forward uh, to the next phase um, of the training. All right, so that is in terms of our approach. So just before we start, a few ground rules. Right? Um, these are particularly important because this is an online platform. So first, we just want to stress, let's communicate professionally with others. Uh, the group is very diverse, um, different backgrounds, different locations, different level of education and that sort of thing, you know, different areas of operation. Um, so because of this diversity, you know, let's, let's keep it professional. Uh, all communication be in one language, English, so that everyone um, understands your question and, and also learns from your input. Uh, very important, wait for others to finish before you speak um, so that we don't talk uh, over each other. And because it's online, uh, each time you speak, please state your name so that others um, will recognize who is talking. Right? Let's build on others' ideas and thoughts. Solutions will come from the group. Um, disagreeing is okay, but let's be respectful and courteous. In terms of um, some admin, let's be on time. So each online session will start promptly at the time that we've advertised on the group, uh, per the timetable. Um, so as, as, as just best practice, we urge you to try and log in a few minutes uh, before the actual uh, start time to give yourself time to you know, sort yourself out where you may have network issues or you're struggling to log on. Um, it's better to just give yourself, say, five, 10 minutes uh, before the actual start time. Uh, let's participate in each session, share experiences, best practice, bring up any challenges. Remember, 
challenges may not be unique to yourself. Uh, you might find some of the challenges that you're experiencing um, have uh, others have experienced the same or have solutions to some of those challenges. Yeah? So discuss successes, share articles, you know, let, let's just enjoy uh, the training. Um, and then if there's anything else that you want us to add in terms of the ground rules, you're more than welcome to type it in the comment section and we'll just incorporate that in terms of what we need to be mindful of. Right. So just in terms of your expectations from the module, would like you to uh, just jot down what, what, what your expectations or what you intend to get out of this training. Um, this is important in ensuring that we uh, set the classes properly, set the content properly, um, and also know where there may be gaps in terms of the, the, the areas that we've covered and what you would like assistance with um, in respect to this particular module. So we just urge you to just jot down your individual expectations. Then we'll have a look and see that these are actually covered in the scope. And when they're not covered, we can always then incorporate them, um, say, at the end of the se second session and then touch base on those as well. So where we see common individual expectations, we'll then take these to the group expectations. Right? So if you can just jot those down under uh, the comments section. All right. OK, so leadership. Um, so I'm just going to touch on, on the learning outcomes that we expect or that I expected of the delegates um, at the end of this module. So by the end of this module, the participants or students should be able to identify, compare and contrast leadership models. So under here, we will touch on the different leadership models. Right? We'll compare them and under contrast, we'll see which situation suits which leadership model, which leadership model best applies to which leader as well as which is the better leadership model for your own business, right? So we'll then identify for pain contrast. So there are different leadership models that are applicable. We'll touch on each one of those. So again, by the end of this module, right, the students should be able to analyze the relationship between power and leadership and how to influence others. So three things here, power, leadership, and how to influence. We'll analyze the relationship between these three aspects and how they can be combined or used together uh, in terms of providing effective or ineffective leadership. Right? The other area which participants and students should be able to uh, comprehend at the end of this module is to appreciate the role that ethics and values plays in leadership. Again, we talk of ethics and leadership. We talk of the link between ethics and leadership and how these play a vital role in, in, in leadership style, right? We'll touch on credibility of leaders, business stewards, and then we'll also touch on the importance of uh, fellowship and diversity in terms of leader outcomes. And finally, uh, the development of a leadership plan. What is a leadership plan? Why is it important, right? Um, so this course will have 10 modules right, that include aspects like introduction to leadership, this will set the tone, you know, what is leadership? What is the history of leadership? Then we'll move to module two that talks to the different leadership styles. And we'll then touch on power and leadership, emotional intelligence, believing in some, honesty, integrity, and ethics, self-awareness, knowledge, wisdom, and intelligence. Then we'll close off through um, touching on diversity in leadership, leading different people and finally stewardship. So these are the areas that we'll touch on in terms of the, the overall course. And right? we'll spread these areas um, over two sessions. Right? Okay, introduction to leadership, so, to leadership. So this will be the first module that we will look at um, in terms of um, effective leadership, right? Okay. So in terms of the learning outcomes, these are similar to the ones that we've touched on when we looked at the overall um, uh, course uh, outcomes. But specifically for this module, we should be able to define leadership and its importance, 
um, understand the relationship between power and leadership and how to influence others. Right? We're going to touch on credibility, you know, being a credible leader. Right? And then we'll also close off by talking about ethics and values in terms of your leadership aspirations. Okay, so those are the areas that we'll touch on uh, under this introduction.